great. Okay, so welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you all could join us today here um, on this Zoom meeting um, for the West Windsor Arts Council. Um, I'm Eileen Green. I'm the Executive Director of the West Windsor Arts Council. And um, today we're going to talk a little bit about our new online classes. And we have a few of our teaching <laughs> artists who have joined us for this conversation. And we just thought it would be a good way to um, help everyone get to know us a little bit more and get to know what we're all about and what to maybe expect from our classes. So um, with that, we also have Kirsten Sanford with us. That's her waving. <laughs> and she's our education manager. So Kirsten, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Sure, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm getting close to hitting my, my full year with the West Windsor Art Center. <laughs> Um, so it's been it's been quite an interesting year that this is <laughs> part of my first year moving everything online. Um, but um, my background is in education and, and the arts. So um, kind of bring that to the table. So um, this has kind of been an interesting adventure uh, moving, you know, starting with the West Windsor Art Center and now kind of facilitating this whole new online programming too. You've been doing a great job. We've really enjoyed working with you and all the energy that you bring. Um, you know, we're, what the interesting thing is that there are a lot of artists on our staff. My background is also in the arts. Um, I went to Mason Gross and studied painting and sculpture, and I've been a practicing artist um, all these years, as well as my day job, you know, keeping <laughs> the arts alive by running the Art Center. So it's really a passion of mine that I'm so happy to share with um, the community. And I just love seeing people um, enhance their lives and just get so much out of the arts, no matter what the form that it takes for them, or if they start with it young, or they come back to it when they're older, or they're doing it their whole lives. It just brings so much to your life. And I really feel that it's one of the essential components um, for a happy, healthy life, you know. Mm. So, um, so that's why I'm here. And um, so, before we get to talking with our wonderful teaching artists who have joined us today, uh, for people who don't know anything about the West Windsor Arts Council, we wanted to give a, just a brief overview. So, um, we are an art center located in West Windsor, New Jersey, and we are housed in a renovated firehouse, which is owned by the township. And through their support, we're able to offer arts programs for the community for you know, all ages. We have classes for children and adults. We do um, free festivals uh, of music and performing arts and poetry. Um, you know, all the art forms are represented at the Art Center. And um, you know, we, have, we just have a passion for creating um, transformative experiences. And really our mission is to transform the world around us through the arts. So all the ways that we can do that, that's what we love to do. And you know, people see us as um, a community-based center and a place where people are welcomed whenever they come in, they're greeted by friendly, warm faces. And you know, um, that's just part of who we are. So, um, I also would love, Kirsten, if you could share a little bit specifically about the education program at West Windsor and kind of some of the guiding, you know, philosophy there. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, we've always been, you know, emphasizing this idea of, um, you know, more individualized um, based education at the Art Center. So, um, you know, there's always been a lot of one-on-one -on -one, um, attention with uh, you know, our teaching artists and the students. So um, that's one thing that, you know, keeping in mind, moving these programs online, we've been able to kind of keep and maintain, which we're pretty proud of. Um, so, um, you know, with that comes a lot of um, growth, I think. And, um, you know, whether you're, um, you know, a younger student, you're a child, or if, you know, it's an adult, um, you know, those kind of things, um, always kind of follow suit there. And um, it's interesting because we've always kind of had this policy that, you know, we were working with you and your own individual growth with, you know, whatever kind of um, challenges we face. And this is, you know, that new challenge that we're facing now. So we're kind of, you know, our teaching artists really have been working hard to, um, 
kind of move with the times and um, still be able to provide that, you know, really critical um, education that especially now, you know, the arts, you know, you hear it every, you know, every day that the arts, especially now is just so critical to our whole well being, um, you know, it really is important. That's so true. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's really a big part of who we are as an art center, you know, that our purpose is to serve our community. So by continuing our classes online and by doing other initiatives, um, like, you know, just art activities, free art activities, or um, we are doing a volunteer project right now to, to make masks. Um, you know, the West Windsor Arts Council really is, that's a big part of who we are and why we do this. So great. So let's talk a little bit about the classes in particular and, you know, the, um, the, how they work. Um, Kirsten, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So like I was saying before, the, the class sizes, they're still staying, you know, pretty intimate. You know, we've always kind of had this, um, you know, that leading idea so that that's not changing for the online structure so that we still do maintain that one-on-one -on -one attention. There's going to be a lot of, um, you know, it's live. So, um, you know, what you're experiencing in person in the center is also going to be what you're experiencing through this um, you know, video format. So we're using uh, Zoom as a platform. And, you know, with that, we're taking, you know, security measures to protect people and, you know, especially our kids' classes. Um, so, you know, that's pretty critical to us. So part of that, too, is that um, not only is your art instructor going to be on the Zoom call, but we do have staff members um, involved as well. So they're here really to make sure everything goes seamlessly because we realize, you know, not everybody is familiar with, um, you know, all the technology and things that, um, you know, we're introducing. So we're really here to make sure that that doesn't feel too stressful and, you know, you can still enjoy the experience. Awesome. All right. So now the fun uh, <laughs> part of the experience here, we want to talk with our teaching artists. <laughs> and uh, we have here today, we have uh, Rashad, we have Kimberly, we have Steven, and we have Eleni. So thank you all so much for joining us. We're going to ask a question and then we're going to kind of go through each of you and, and have you um, tell us a little, you know, answer the question and, and um, in your own words and whatever you guys want to say. So um, let's see, we have, let's start. Our first question is, we just want you to introduce yourself and tell us what you teach. Um, so Rashad, do you want to get us started? Oh yeah, all right. So um, hello everyone, I'm Rashad Davis and I'm an illustrator, an author and a character designer from uh, Lawrence, New Jersey. So um, what I'll be teaching is digital illustration, uh, but specifically, what I want to do is take a look at um, some really prominent illustrators throughout history um, and look at their styles and emulate them um, to learn things like the, the principles of design and art um, and have fun with it. So the one I'm looking forward to most is Tim Burton. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Great, thank you. And uh, Kimberly? All right, well, um, my name is Kimberly. I teach um, digital uh, photography to adults and teens. Um, I actually worked as a professional photographer for many years. I had a studio in New York and I was also in Michigan for a period of time and I did a lot of commercial work and advertising. Um, right now I've kind of put that a little bit aside and I've been teaching photography and I actually also work at the Art Center. Um, so in, in my class I kind of do a variety of things, both we do um, setups and, and sort of studio sessions, we talk technique, and then we also look at photographers in history. That's what we do. Great. Steven? Hi, I'm Steven Smith. I live uh, about a second away from the West Windsor Arts Council. <laughs> Long commute. <laughs> it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. But I'm teaching uh, Take a Bow, it's acting for kids. I've been teaching acting for kids for about 15 years. Um, I teach a lot of after school improvisation clubs. So I've been looking forward to teaching at the Arts Council for quite a while. And my whole thing really involves around fun. Kids pretend way better than adults do. So it's 
The challenge is going to be doing it online. And at first I was petrified and now I am thrilled because, you know, these kids are born and bred on screens. They know it better than I do. So it's a lot of fun pretending and learning and I don't know, we're going to make movies. Cool. Cool. Very good. And Eleni. <laughs> yes. Hi, uh, my name's Eleni Litt and I'm teaching a class at the West Windsor Art Council called Doodling Meetup. And, uh, what we do is we get together and um, it's uh, really a fun time to relax. And I call it kind of doodling, but it's really uh, drawing and painting, collage, mixed media. And it's a combination of prompts with, on different themes and, and different kinds of techniques. So each session is a kind of standalone session um where we talk about a theme we might use some poetry we might use something from popular culture and then we just start uh, doodling around and see what we come up with it's a very safe and comfortable space and um no art experience is necessary so if folks just want to see what it's like to uh take your pencil for for uh, a, a walk which is what <laughs> Paul Clay said that, that drawing was just taking your pencil for a walk, then doodling meetup is a fun place to be. Great, great. So as you can see, we've had a couple of uh, teachers who teach adults and a couple of teachers working with kids. So we wanted to kind of give a little sense of some of the variety that we have. So our next question is, what is your teaching philosophy? How do you approach teaching? And what do you hope that your students will get out of your classes? Rashad? Yes. So um, how I approach teaching and uh, teaching arts in general is uh, teaching art and art in general as exploration and fun. Um, you know, I provide a framework. Um, I provide technique. But ultimately, I want the students to feel free to express themselves how they see fit. Um, which I know can seem intimidating to a lot of people. <laughs> you know, it can be like, oh my God, I have all this freedom, what do I do with it? Um, but soon, soon enough, like they realize that with the structure um, and the freedom, they're able to create kind of out of their wildest dreams. Um, and for me, what I think, what I want students to take away from my classes is confidence. Um, I want them to feel confident in not only their ability to create um, and to kind of go outside of their comfort zone, um, but just confidence in themselves and, and to know that if they can achieve this smaller thing, they can move on to more and more and more. Great. Kimberly? Um, so my philosophy is to just help students broaden their idea of what a photograph is and what a photograph can be. Um, I think particularly with photography, because there's so much of it in our environment, um, we often come into um, I find students come into the classroom with a very specific idea as to what something should look like. Um, so I find a lot of what I do is trying to get students just to sort of relax that vision and accept um, other ways of looking at things. Um, so that's sort of how I approach my class. I absolutely agree with Rashad that one of the biggest things I try and do in my class is give people confidence. Um, I feel with photography, that's half the battle is just feeling confident enough to be able to pick up your camera and use it, even though it has all kinds of functions on it that you might not know what they are. So um, we talk a lot about that. Um, but yeah. Okay. Great. Steven? Yeah, I, I just want to jump on the confidence train as well. That's the key <laughs> to it, especially with getting on stage, um, mm -hmm. being able to stand still is one of the hardest things to teach and that's why I approach everything with inclusion and comfort. It's supposed to be fun and safe. When I was in college, I learned something very valuable. All of my professors said, call us by the first name, we're breaking down walls, which really upset my Southern mother. But <laughs> I use that when I teach. And the way I compromise is I always have the kids call me Senor Steven, which kind of breaks it down for them. And then I really just want them to know that they've already come in with every single tool they need. It's nothing they have to acquire. It's just honing what they already have. Mm -hmm. And confidence is key. They don't have to worry about poise. They just have to know that it's already fun. And we're, we're not pulling anybody out of a fire. This is fun. <laughs> and we're going to be having a lot more. Awesome. Melanie? 
Wow, I love my fellow teachers. <laughs> um, I, I resonate with Rashad's uh, providing structure and freedom, that wonderful creative tension, and Kimberly's confidence, and Stephen's just fun and joy. And I think what we all share in common and what, what is so essential for me is meeting my, the students where they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really about the students. I just get so much joy meeting the student where he or she is and then seeing what I can give them in that moment that will take them to the next step. So I'm a cheerleader, I'm a supporter, I don't teach technique in the sort of logical way, but someone's trying to do something and they say, well, how do I actually, you know, get this paper to stick on this other paper? So I'm available with all kinds of techniques, but, but the way I teach is that making art is, is about self-expression. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you need to express something, I will give you the technique to do that. Um, and, and I think that one of the, the biggest challenges that, that we face as teachers of the visual arts is that students, they come, they come as students, but then they bring along the inner critic. So there's always <laughs> two parts of the person showing up. Yeah. And, and I'm really committed to helping my students um, figure out how to give the inner critic a nice little seat on the side, a nice little cup of tea, but not to feed it too much. Just let the inner critic be over there and, and then we can get on with, with, with doing what we wanna do, which is express ourselves, learn things, and also make community. That's another really important part of um, my teaching approach is that no matter how small or large the group is, we sort of end up having this little um, community of people. Wonderful, thank you all. Those were really inspiring answers. <laughs> um, so we were sort of wanted to give people a sense of how your classes might translate to an online format. So if you could just say, you know, a couple of things about what steps you're taking to make that work. I'm jumping in. Yeah, yeah. jump on right, in. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, it's actually perfect because I, I'm, already a digital illustrator. So most of what I do translates really well to um, the, the kind of the interactive Zoom setup. But what I'm, what I'm looking to do largely is to be um, partly instructional and then um, for a lot of it for it to be interactive. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate a technique on camera, um, show them how I'm approaching it, uh, and then basically give them the tools to do the same. And then, you know, a, a large part of my classes is that I like to the students to give each other feedback and um, positive or just co uh, constructive criticism. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll just say, hey, okay, so we finished up with this warm up or this design. Um, let's turn the cameras around and show what we've done so far. Um, and that way you're kind of giving each of them an incentive to be a part of the class and, and to be active with it, um, but also making it constructive in a natural way without it seeming forced through a digital format. So it'll be partly instructional, um, through me and then um, largely interactive where they're working and then I'm guiding them through each step. Thank you. Kimberly? Um, so with my class, one of the things that um, I always do and students seem to love is I give assignments. This I think inspires people to just go out and shoot, whether it's in their front yard or inside their house or however far they can adventure. Um, and so I will continue with that. And then what happens with that is the students will email me their images and I have them available for us to look at during class. So all of that is going to actually stay very similar to how I normally run the class. Um, and then in this particular session, the spring session, we were going to be looking at editing photos. So I'll have on my computer and share with everybody Photoshop elements. I'll go through specific techniques and then they'll, they'll be able to share with me and ask questions in terms of how, what exactly they're doing. The whole point of my spring class was to help students get images ready to print. Um, because I find with photographers, we, we, these days we rarely actually print anything to hang on our walls. We just all take pictures and then look up at, look at them on our phones, which is great, but it would be fun to be able to 
um, be able to make that transition to a printed material and be confident in terms of what it's going to come out like. I hope we're going to experiment with printing on metal and printing on watercolor paper mm -hmm. and what kind of images lend themselves to that type of thing. So that's sort of the plan. Sounds like a good one. Yeah. All right, Stephen. Man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Better come up with it. No. No, I've been thinking about this a lot and I got inspired by uh, my daughter's ballet class. And if they can have a ballet class of a whole bunch of people and get through about 90 minutes of ballet, I, what I've noticed about it and I'm excited about is the comfort level you have in your house you don't have in school. My own children are very, 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 very quiet in school, but at home, they're, um, I think the technical terms is crazy. So, <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that that's going to like already open up a door that would take me a couple of classes to really get to know the kids. But I have some ideas and there are some ideas about basic, well, really just posture. Posture is number one because sitting here in front of the screen all the time as kids are doing nowadays, you got to learn how to sit up straight, which translates to standing straight on stage. You worry about how you are going to talk so the microphone can hear you without shouting. That falls into projection. So a lot of the same stuff I do in the room, we're just going to do on the computer screen. The part that I'm missing is that I'm, we're working on with Zoom, which is so great, is having people work together and pair off. I like to incorporate a lot of improvisation into what I do mm -hmm. before you get up to the memorization point, which is also great for having a camera right in front of you as you can learn how to memorize, learn where to look, learn where to uh, speak to. So the more I thought about it, I was like, man, this is just opening a whole new world of theater <laughs> that we can deal with. And you got this box right here. It's basically a proscenium. So you can, you know, you can hide underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> From different sides. It's going to be a lot very cool. So I have this whole thing planned of teaching stage directions while using the screen, teaching memorization. You can even throw in a teleprompter if you want, because, you know, let's face it, some actors get old. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That sounds exciting. So, Eleni, how about you? Yeah, I can piggyback on that because I think one of the important things about teaching online for me, I have some, I have some experience teaching online. I've taught uh, workshops all over the world from West Windsor, New Jersey, and uh, have done some long courses. And teaching online is not just taking an on-site class and flipping it. It really, there's a whole different way of thinking about it. So it has its obvious challenges, which I can't, you know, walk around the class and look over <laughs> some shoulder. Um, but it also has all kinds of opportunities. And um, so I'm looking forward to kind of expanding on what those opportunities are in terms of encouraging, first of all, in terms of art supplies that students can, that are adult students and students of any age, can make art with a pencil and a piece of paper. You know, there you have it. So we're going to spend some time just talking about how you set up a studio in front of a screen and how that's different than, than being in a classroom where there are supplies. Um, and um, the other thing is in, when I teach online, I'm in touch with my students in between classes. So there's, a, there's email, there's sharing, everything's optional though. So it makes it very safe. If people wanna share, they can. If they don't wanna share, that's fine too. And it's a comfortable enough space for people to share. So using the online platform combined with email and um, certain ways of, of prompting sharing makes it a very um, uh, interesting opportunity rather than the challenge that it also is. <laughs> Wow, wonderful, thoughtful answers from all of you. So thank you so much. Um, our last question, or it's not really a question, it's an opportunity. We'd like to invite you to send a message to your current or future students and um, you know, you know, give you the opportunity to what, what you wanna say. So um, Rashad, how about you? Yeah, so um, Niam, Maya, Thomas and Matt, I miss you guys so much. That was that has been this has been such a phenomenal class, um, and you guys have been doing and producing phenomenal work. Um, I can't wait to see you again. Um, I'm hoping that this time apart has been 
uh, productive and, um, and at least a little bit fun for you despite the circumstances. Um, and I look forward to uh, seeing you soon. <laughs> awesome. Kimberly? Um, just to all my students, um, I hope you're out taking some great pictures. Um, there is always something to gain by um, taking another photo class. I know I get students that repeat my, repeat my classes numerous times and it's never the same. Each time we do different things, I, pay, I do different techniques, we have different students in the class and it, they, it, our, our conversations go down different paths. So there's always something to gain. So I hope to see you in class. Again. Thank you. Steven? Yeah, to all my future students, I'm very, very, very excited to meet you and explore this whole world that you guys are much more savvy in than I am. I'm um, looking forward to getting you guys basically on your own stage. I think it's going to be really cool. And just remember that we're all in this together and we're going to have some fun while we do it. Wonderful. Eleni? Yeah, well, um, to my previous students and my current students and the students who might be inspired to join us this time around, what we'll do is we'll meet in the moment. That's what we always do. And this moment is providing us with a number of really great themes. And so I think some of my students might be shy about coming on to the Zoom platform and um, I welcome you. Uh, that would be Nancy and Susan, Joanne, Joyce, uh, Judy, Chris, whoever has studied with me before, take that leap of faith um, because whatever we make is going to be an opportunity to express our own truth in this moment. And we'll also have fun. You know, it's just going to be a lot of fun to see uh, what we come up with. Great. Well, thank you all so much. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time to, to make this little video with us today and help share with everyone, you know, some of the, uh, the faces and the, the people behind the online classes. Kirsten, do you have anything else you want to say before we? No, I think, I think that's great. And, um, yeah, we really appreciate everybody, um, you know, being here with us today. So everybody got to meet you. Mm -hmm. great.